space and beyond, NASA launching two separate missions on the same rocket to help better understand what's happening in the universe. These missions are mapping out the entire sky. Joining us, NASA expert Dr. John Wisniewski. First of all, John, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We talk a lot about space here on this program. Some of the things that we might be a little embarrassed to talk about because there's a lot of alien discussion. But first I want to talk about just how cool this is. We are talking about, I guess, seeing the first and the most comprehensive view of space that we have ever seen. What are you hoping that we uncover? Yeah, so uh, NASA's SphereX mission is going to be looking at uh, three big science questions in our portfolio. The first is really how did the universe begin? Uh, looking at uh, the physics of inflation, so the microsecond after the Big Bang. Uh, so SphereX will, will help address that question. Uh, it's also going to help us to understand how galaxies themselves uh, uh, grow and evolve over time. And the third key question that SphereX is going to address is how does water uh, delivered from uh, the space in between stars, the interstellar medium, how does that get, actually get incorporated into stars and incorporated into planets? So we're really excited that this one mission is going to help us to address those really fundamental questions wow. that NASA physics program is, is, is interested in. Yep. It sounds like they're going into to deep space. Spear X is one, Punch is the other. What are they and how far out are they going? Yeah, so uh, uh, both NASA, uh, uh, both SphereX and Punch are going to be lo uh, launched into low Earth orbit. Uh, so they're going to be orbiting the Earth approximately one orbit every 90 minutes or so. Uh, uh, SphereX is going to be uh, uh, looking outwards at, at literally uh, uh, 400 you know, million galaxies and about 100 million stars. Punch is going to be looking at one object in detail, our own star, the Sun and learning about uh, how coronal mass ejections are launched from the sun and, and reach the Earth's atmosphere. And we're really excited that both of those missions are being launched on one platform, you know, the Falcon 9. So it's a great, great efficiency and great tax savings, uh, cost savings. I, I am curious about what the protocol is and if you would be honest with us if you saw John, I apologize before she asked this question, but go ahead. <laughs> If you saw something that you were not expecting to see, then what happens next? How is it that we don't have any confirmed alien life at this point in 2025? And do you think it's a possibility that that could ever happen? Well, in terms of, uh, of you know, what do we do when we see something unexpected? That's yeah. the really exciting part of science in general, I would say. And, and you know, when we uncover new things with the SphereX mission yeah. that we weren't expecting, we would probably use follow-up uh, 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 precision telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope to look at those objects in more detail. You know, going broader to, to you know, to address your question about, you know, uh, life outside of our universe, mm -hmm. um, so isn't really designed to answer that question, mm. but uh, future NASA mission concepts like the Habitable Worlds Observatory is poised to try to get data on that on that specific topic and, and seeing if we can find evidence for uh, uh, um, habitable Earth-like planets. Wow. So stay tuned for that mission that, that, that we hope will be coming up in the next decades. When something like this launches, how excited does everyone at NASA get? How big is this for you guys? Oh, it's, uh, there, there was plenty of analogies like kid in a candy store. Right? So, <laughs> hold on, so I know the, the science team is, is literally bubbling with excitement. And, you know, us at headquarters as well that, that have seen this mission through formulation and then development, we're, we're really excited to see this, this, this mission go up. These two missions, sorry, Spherex and Punch mm -hmm. go up and delivering science to, to scientists, but also to the broader community. Both of these missions are going to be delivering right. their data sets that are going to be immediately available to, to the broader community to use for their own scientific purposes. So. Well, we were thrilled to have you on our show today. Appreciate I know you. I cannot be the first person to ask about aliens, but if you do find something, please let us be the first to know. We'd love to break that right here on the noon. <laughs> oh, it's all good. And uh, you know, we share your enthusiasm about searching for all the different questions that are out there. That's, that's our job, right? Thank you so much. You can follow these missions, by the way, you at home by going to nasa.gov slash punch or nasa.gov slash spherex. We do have both links on our website, by the way, foxdetroit.com. You heard what he said, though, right? He was okay.
He, he said they haven't found anything. It's pretty much what he said. He probably doesn't have the, the government clearance to discuss these things with us okay. on a live broadcast. All right. Glad to have him on, though. Great guy. Love to have him yes. back. Yes.